Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot, and in this reading I'm taking a look at Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to my channel, please give it a like and subscribe, and if you feel like you resonate with the reading and you want to know more about the energy surrounding the situation, I will also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also in the description box below, where you'll also find info on how to book a personal. Alright you guys, now this reading is for everything love money career let's see what's good for you okay universe spirits and guides what is good for capricorn this week what is good for capricorn two more shuffles one and two let's rock this deck capricorn please capricorn your overall energy this week is the six of cups cancer pisces scorpio you may be feeling very nostalgic this week you might be you know, reflecting on your life, the people in it, what you've accomplished, what you want to set out for yourself, all right? And the main situation we have is the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. You may be feeling left in the dark about something. Maybe you feel like your life is an illusion or you feel like there's deceptive people around you or you just feel like there's more to the story than meets the eye. So you're definitely in a self-reflective mode right now, okay? And the energies that could be surrounding you this week is the Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancerian that is surrounding you this week. Someone that wants to be there for you and be kind towards you. It could be a mother figure or it could be a romantic partner or someone who just wants to support you and be there for you to guide you, okay? And what's in your blockages, your obstacles this week? The Seven of Wands, Leo Angie. You may be feeling like you have to defend yourself to other people and that's what's creating some blockages in your life moving forward. Maybe you feel like you have to defend yourself against coworkers. Maybe you got family members pointing fingers at you with the holidays coming up. That's when a lot of people start getting emotional about family members that they haven't spoken to all year round and now that they're being forced to see them for the holidays or whatnot. But there's definitely a very defensive energy with you this week, and it's causing some delays, all right? And in your foundation, we have is the Four Pentacles, your energy. Right now, you're focusing on protecting your stability. You're protecting your, your finances. You're protecting your career. You're, you're pr protecting your home. Maybe there's something going on with your, your apartment or your house that just doesn't feel very stable and you're just throwing all of your effort into that right now because fours represent stability and pentacles represent finances st stable um stable living and home okay and in your recent past we have the six of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn in the recent past there was an energy of you either being too generous with someone and not getting the same generosity in return or vice versa okay six of pentacles is that energy of equal give and take the energy you give out you you expect in the the same return you could be dealing with someone who you kept on helping out over and over again it could be a family member a friend or you were putting in long hours at work and you were expecting something in return not that you were just doing the things to receive a reward for it you just wanted that balance okay you're like i scratch your back you scratch mine all right so whether it's love family career finances you were hoping that you were going to get the same energy in return for your endeavors and what's crowning this reading is the nine of cups cancer pisces scorpio you've got wish fulfillment on your mind you've got emotional fulfillment on your mind you just want to wake up one morning and go huh today looks pretty good that's what that's what's on your mind that's what's crowning this reading you want to be able to enjoy living a little bit you want to just not have to worry constantly about everything in your life you just want to take a breather in your near future capricorn we have the page of pentacles this could be a love offer this could be a job offer this could be a promotion or an increase in money it's not going to be substantial but it's going to be something that's going to make you feel like things are moving in the right direction and then whatever comes from this page of pentacles usually develops into the ten of pentacles all right it's that seed that's planted to start getting the the money flowing in the right trajectory or a love situation moving in the right trajectory or whatever is not working out it will build off of this page of pentacles okay it's something grounded it's something genuine and something reliable could be another earth energy you're dealing with possibly a younger one all right 
how you're being viewed by the world the eight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn a lot of earth in this reading you're being viewed as someone who is working your butt off i'm talking working your tail off your head down focus on your craft right now okay you could also be making a dedicated effort with someone that you're connecting to romantically or for family or work They're, you're just doing it all you're doing it all this week it's like you're completely busy you do represent the king of pentacles all right you're always trying to work on your stability whether it's work finances love money you're always trying to find a way to feel flat on your feet like you've got it going on and you're grounded okay you're definitely looking busy now the people around you what are they doing the six of wands leo energy you may be seeing other people getting the praise and accolation and admiration that you feel like you deserve because it looks like you're the one doing a lot of the work you're putting in all the hours you're putting in all the dedication you may be in charge of getting things going for you know thanksgiving or friendsgiving and you're putting in all the effort you're getting the turkey you're getting all the trimmings and things like that but you feel like other people whether it's love family or work is getting all the attention off of your back okay you might have one of those family members that will show up at a party with you holding a dish of cookies that you made and everyone's wow your cookies are great and they're like nodding oh yeah thank you not not even mentioning capricorn made the cookies it's that type of energy i feel like someone's getting the benefit off of your hard work and in your hopes and fears you're hoping to take a risk you're hoping to have a fresh new start there's something about you that tells me that you are getting tired of the energies around you and you're wanting to just say f it off to a new beginning whether this is you quitting a job and finding a new one or whether you are becoming self-employed and possibly going towards online um ways of making a living because you don't feel stable in your career right now and you're wanting to take that special risk that will lead you into a new direction your possible outcome the star getting your wish wishes granted whatever you're hoping for capricorn i feel like if you do take this risk you're going to get what you're wanting okay so i'm going to clarify a few all right page of cups on the bottom there could be someone keeping an eye on you in a romantic sense they may be younger than you could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio whatever this is i feel like someone is feeling emotionally drawn to you all right whether this is a younger sibling a younger friend or a love interest someone a, that you work with a co-worker someone is looking at you and wanting to feel emotionally attached to you in some way all right so let's clarify so why is the six of cups the overall energy for capricorn this week why is the six of cups the overall energy for capricorn this week why is the six of cups the overall energy for capricorn this week why is the six of cups the overall energy for capricorn this week four of cups cancer energy you're you're in self-reflection mode right now because you might be feeling like something was a missed opportunity whether you didn't take a job offer that was handed to you a few years ago or you didn't take up someone on their offer to go on a date or there's something that you're reflecting on and it could have could be going all the way as far as down to your childhood or you're thinking damn why did i do this why didn't i do that why didn't i just pick that college why didn't i pick that degree why didn't i do this why didn't i ask sally to the 10th grade dance it's that energy of you reflecting on your life you're definitely in reflective mode all right and six plus four of cups equal ten of cups you feel like there's something that is keeping you from having total happiness okay and what's on your mind is having that nine of cups so why is this queen of cups and no why is the moon the main situation here why is the moon the main situation for capricorn why is the moon the main situation for capricorn 
because you feel like you've invested a lot of time and effort and resources into whatever you are focusing on right now with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you're wanting your abundance from it with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whether you've invested a lot of time into a romantic interest, whether you've invested a lot of time into work or some sort of self-employed endeavor or with making things right with your family, you're expecting some sort of abundance from it with the Ten of Pentacles. You've been waiting, all right? But you feel like something is not right. You feel like something is deceptive or an illusion to you, all right? And it's making you feel defeated with the Five of Swords. You feel like this is a lose-lose situation. You may also be suffering from a lot of anxiety disorders this week where you feel like your anxiety is at an all-time high to the point where you're driving to work or driving to wherever you're going and you feel like the seatbelt is too tight on your chest and you keep on positioning it so you can get some more breathing room in your chest. You're just feeling tight in the chest this week, okay? That's the energy I get when I look at this card. Feeling tight in your chest or heart palpitations or you just feel like you just can't get enough oxygen, okay? So I feel like you're going to take a break with the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? You're gonna work on some sort of self-love, self-healing, and you're just going to turn off the world and go dark. So this could be you coming up this weekend with turning off your social media, not responding to every text, putting your phone on airplane mode, silencing all emails, if you're one of those people that work from home and you share a phone with your company to where your personal phone and your work phone is combined, you're going to find a way to get it silenced completely. So you can just take a break with the four sorts. Go no contact. I don't know why it said I sounded like that when I said no contact. It said no contact. <laughs> but you're going no contact on the world. Not one specific person, not one specific area. You just want to shut down the world and maybe take a long nap or two during the weekend or you just want to go fishing. You want to just silence the world. Except for Bass and Intuitive Tarot. You'll still check on, on her readings, okay? So why is the Seven of Wands in your blockage, Capricorn? Why is the Seven of Wands in your blockage? Why is the Seven of Wands in your blockage? Why is the Seven of Wands in your blockage, Leo Energy? You're feeling burdened about some sort of love interest, I feel like. You may be reflecting on a time when you and your person were enjoying each other's company or there's someone that you are keeping your eye on but you feel like they might be dealing with others. There's some sort of love interest that you're thinking about with the lover's energy, sign of Gemini, and it's causing you a lot of burdens with the Ten of Wands and you feel like you want to either defend defend yourself towards them or family members are pressuring you into making a choice between who you date or they're saying whoever you're dating isn't good enough and it's causing you a lot of stress this week. All right, you may be keeping tabs on someone or someone's keeping tabs on you, possibly a younger air sign. So why is the Four of Pentacles in the foundation for Capricorn, sign of Capricorn? Why is the Four of Pentacles in your crowning or your founding energy? I'm about to lose a bunch of cards. There's some communication coming in. Some excited communication surrounding this Four of Pentacles energy. Something that's going to lift your spirits. Could be a fire sign. Speaking of fire energy, I have the Ace of Wands and I have the Hangman. Some sort of really awesome passionate opportunity is being stagnant right now with the Hangman Pisces energy and you're maybe needing to see something in a different perspective, all right? And maybe that's that energy that you want to take a risk for. There's some sort of new possibility that you're wanting to embark on with that Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, and that's what you're hoping to take a risk on with that full energy and that's what the outcome with the star. You're wanting to take some risk with someone or to with some sort of job opportunity or some sort of risk with money, all right? But you're you're trying to weigh it out and see what would benefit you in the long run. But there's some passionate communication surrounding this. Maybe you've got a friend or a family member or a coworker who wants to be a part of this new opportunity with the Ace of Wands, or this is that love interest that you've got on your mind that you need to make a choice with, or family members are pressuring you to make a decision about, all right? And there's that Queen of Cups again. Definitely could be a Cancerian that you're connecting to. Or this is 
a motherly figure that is trying to help you, try to guide you on the right path. Or you definitely have someone that is keeping an eye on you who has a lot of genuine pure love for you with the Queen of Cups. And they want to offer you some sort of Page of Cups. And that's what I have over here with the Page of Cups. Someone has feelings for you or someone wants to feel more emotionally attached to you or they want you to start noticing them on an emotional level with the Page of Cups. All right. But there's some sort of confusion surrounding this with the Seven of Cups. More water energy. So speaking of water energy, why is that Nine of Cups crowning this reading? Why is the Nine of Cups crowning this reading? Why is the Nine of Cups crowning this reading? The Sun, Leo energy, and the Soulmate energy, Two of Cups. Capricorn, this could go either way. There's something on your mind, whether it's a new job, a new startup business, a new plan for your future, or a person that you want to be a part of. There's something connecting to a soulmate energy that's going to bring you a lot of happiness with the sun. Now remember, we can have hundreds and hundreds of soulmates. Soulmates come in our lives to teach us a lesson and then they dip out. Some stay for our lifetimes. Some are part of our soul tribe family, all right? Soulmates can be our coworkers, our boss, our neighbors, our first love, the person that we first had sex with, someone that we have kids with, someone that we could have kids with. Um, it's someone that helps you on your path, helps you get you back on your path, or they help teach you a specific lesson that you set out for yourself in this lifetime. You've got a soulmate energy who's going to be surrounding you, who's going to bring you a lot of happiness and emotional fulfillment with that nine of cups. Maybe it's a boss that gives you a break because I do see the page of pentacles in the near future. And I will clarify this and it's leading to some sort of dream come true or a wish with that star. All right. This could be, uh, a coworker wanting to go in on a business idea with you or a future girlfriend or boyfriend that wants to collaborate with you on some sort of online business or some sort of adventure. It's something that's going to make you feel good and feel, ah, finally something's going right for me. Okay. And you're going to get a lot of attention with the six of wands. Remember how you felt like other people were getting attention off of your hard work, off of your back. This is what you're, you're, you've got on your mind. You want the attention you deserve and you could be getting it and it's connected to the soulmate energy that's going to bring you a lot of happiness with the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this could actually be a relationship that turns into a partnership in business, okay? And it could be a Leo that you're connecting to, someone who's very strong and that will help you find your strength to take action in whatever area of your life, all right? I'm definitely getting an energy of either a love interest helping you figure out what you want to do with your life with work or finances or investments, or there's family support, or there's a coworker or a boss who's going to give you an opportunity that you're going to take. So speaking of that, what is this opportunity with the Page of Pentacles? What's this Page of Pentacles offer about? What's this Page of Pentacles offer about? It's definitely genuine. Whoa! It's something, dude. It's something that's going to bring you a lot of balance in your life with the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Do you know how in a traditional Rider right weight deck, when you look at the Two of Pentacles, it shows a man juggling Two of Pentacles? Whoa, whoa, pros and cons, life, work, love, kids, bills. In this deck, it's balanced. In this deck, that cat's got his shit together and it's looking good. And it's connecting to this offer. That page of pentacles is promoted to the two of pentacles. You see how, what I did there? One, two. Now you just need that three of pentacles, a team collaboration, okay? So why is everybody looking at Capricorn as the eight of pentacles this week? Why is everybody, remember this can bleed on till the holidays and into 2021, okay? Time is fluid. My, time is fluid. Time is fluid. My readings are timeless. So why is that eight of pentacles, how Capricorn is being viewed? You're definitely looking like a, a hard worker. The nine of pentacles and the ace of cups. People are viewing you as the eight of pentacles because they see you working hard on some sort of new opportunity with the nine of pentacles. That's going to lead you to a new emotional beginning with the ace of cups. Something that's going to be, oh, it's going to make you feel so freaking good. And that's why you've got your eye on the prize, your head down, focused on your work. Okay. And this definitely could be connected to a love interest. Okay. I'm getting a lot of 
emotional fuzzy yumminess okay someone wants to help you and it's connected to that queen of cups I feel like someone wants to be your rock your strength you might be getting support from a friend who's going to turn into a lover all right but regardless you're working hard on this long overdue offer that's coming in in the near future with that page of Pentacles the page of Pentacles is that offer that's coming in and it's going to lead you to a whole new world Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. Now I got that Aladdin song, A Whole New World in my head. But regardless, you're closing out some sort of cycle and you're starting a brand new one with the world. This is something that's going to turn in your favor. You're going to say goodbye to your old life and say hello to your new life. Financial abundance, perhaps. A beautiful relationship with someone who's going to bring you financial security. Regardless of what it is, something is ending for a new thing to begin and it's going to feel amazing. Look at your face. This is what you're wanting. You're wanting to just sit at the beach and go, oh, I can finally breathe. I finally feel good. I don't have to stress about every damn thing. Badison was right. Badison was right. I love Badison. She's so amazing. Just saying. All right. So why is Capricorn viewing everybody else as the Six of Wands? It's like you're staring out the window thinking, why is it everybody else getting their shit together? What, when is it my turn? I work hard. I am smart. I am lovable. I work for everything I ever achieve. When is it my turn? When is it for me to get a big break? So why is everyone else getting the big break? Why is that Six of Wands house Capricorn is viewing the world? Because they take action. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Not saying you don't take action because you do. You're coming up as the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, but also Capricorn and Virgo. You're coming up as someone who is meant to be an entrepreneur, a business owner, a boss, a manager, an owner of an establishment. But you're, you might be too slow and steady. Sometimes you need to embody a fire energy in order to really seal it deal. I think I totally screwed that up. It's like, Capricorn, you know how to play baseball, okay? You know how to hit the ball right. You know how to catch the ball in the outfield. But in order to get a home run, you need a little fire in you, a little fire inside you that's going to make that grand slam out of the park, all right? So that's why you're seeing other people get all the appraise and accolations because they've got fire in their body, okay? You may be com competing with a fire sign for a job position, all right? But... Whoever this person is or people that's getting a lot of attention is because they are definitely very fiery and ambitious. They don't let anyone tell them no. You're definitely still slow and steady. You were meant to be an entrepreneur. Every Capricorn I've ever met was meant to make money. That's what you know how to do. But sometimes a lot of Capricorns don't get that moment of aha until they reach their mid 30s or mid 40s. Usually in the mid 30s or early 40s is when most Capricorn men and women realize that's what I've been needing to do all along and then boom their finances are looking hot all right this is when that intuition starts kicking in or someone intuitive is speaking to you hi with the high priestess Pisces energy so why is the fool here why is Capricorn taking a risk because you're sick of being defeated with that five of swords energy that's over here you're sick of feeling anxiety. You're sick of feeling anxious and defeated. And you're moving away from that energy with the Six of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. You know, you got the eye of the tiger coming up. When you take this, this leap of faith to whatever it means to you, a new business, a new love interest, a move, a location for a job, whatever, you've got the eye of the tiger. You're like Rocky Balboa in the last round going, yo, Adrian, this is for you. It's that energy. Okay, some sort of new beginning with the Ace of Swords. And remember how I was talking about 60 seconds ago, you waking up one morning and having an aha moment, some sort of revelation on what you want for your new beginning with the Ace of Swords? Boom, here's the Ace of Swords, which is all about aha moments. All right, you're about to find your independence with that Nine of Pentacles. You're about to have your abundance. So why is the star the possible outcome why is the star the possible outcome you could be getting some fame or you could be doing something that's going to get you a lot of attention like a star would get because i do see the six of wands and a star both of those are energies of getting a lot of recognition a lot of notoriety a lot of fame 
whether it's fame within your company, a small group of people, you could have a company with just 10 people and you, you be that one star. You don't need a whole group of thousands of people looking at you to be a star. Why is the star in the possible outcome? Because you took charge of your life and you went for whatever you want with the Emperor, Aries energy, and it's going to lead you to the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Congratulations, Capricorn. You are achieving your Ten of Pentacles. That was your main situation. That's you wanting the Ten of Pentacles, but you felt like things were an illusion. You thought this was only in your dreams that you would get this. That's why the moon was your main situation. You thought the Ten of Pentacles was so far-fetched. It was up your butt. All right. But now you're realizing if you take a few risks, you're going to take charge, take action with that emperor and get your stability. And you could be a chick and come up as the emperor. This is four kings in one. I'm so proud of you, Capricorn. So let me just get one romance angel because I do feel like there's love in this, not just career, but this was a heavy career reading. You've got something good coming in for you. And I feel like there's someone that wants to express love. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Remember how I said just embody some fire-like qualities? Show your passion side. You may just need to show how passionate you are about something for other people to take notice. No one's going to care about something if you don't show that you care about it also. All right? And express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. There's someone you may be eyeballing when I looked at that lover's energy, or someone is eyeballing you wanting to express love. You do have a secret admirer, I feel like, or you already know about this person. Someone wants to offer you a couple of love and work together and be your rock. All right, but if that doesn't resonate, toss it. But the rest, keep it. So if this resonated, the link to the extended where I'll get a little bit more nosy and get some more insight is down below. But if this is where I leave you, I freaking love you. Please hit like, subscribe, and share. And I love you, Cappy. Bye.